Welcome to Issue Tracker for Outlook and SharePoint. In this video demonstration, we will explore how you can set up Issue Tracker to insert due date appointment into the technician mailbox when a ticket is assigned. We will also configure a special SharePoint calendar where all the due dates of the tickets will be maintained so that managers can have an overview of the technician's schedules before assigning tickets. For Issue Tracker to automatically add or update a ticket due date appointment into the assigned technician mailbox, you would need to enable this setting under Advanced Team Options. Now, let us raise a trouble ticket from this email and assign it to Monica. And also set the due date on January 30th, 6 p.m. Once this ticket is raised successfully to share a point, you will notice that Issue Tracker had added a due date appointment to Monica's calendar. Observe the ticket details that are available in this due date appointment. Here, the ticket number and the subject of the assigned ticket appears in the title of this particular appointment, and this differentiates it from other personal appointments. Notice here, the start time of this appointment is the time the technician was assigned. And the end time is actually the due date of the ticket. In the description field, there is a link to the actual share a point ticket, clicking which would open the ticket in your default web browser. The appointment description also informs the technician about the caller and a summary of the problem. Any change in the due date of the ticket at later stage will be automatically reflected to this existing due date appointment in the technician calendar. For example, I will change the due date to January 30th 9 p.m. and update the ticket to share a point. And you can see that the existing due date appointment in Monica's calendar is updated automatically with the new due date. This appointment is removed automatically from the technician's calendar when the corresponding ticket is resolved. When the ticket due date approaches, these appointments will appear in summarized form on the main Outlook Today page when the technician starts Outlook. This way, the technician gets to know which tickets are due today. When a due date appointment is about to be overdue, Outlook automatically displays a reminder pop-up to the technician, alerting about the pending ticket, which needs their immediate attention. Now, let us explore how we can configure a share a point calendar to act as a registry for all ticket due dates assigned to technicians. First of all, I will enable the option Maintain Ticket Due Date Schedules under Advanced Team Options. And then choose the Share a Point Calendar. I have already created a new calendar, Ticket Due Date. I will select it to proceed. Now, Issue Tracker is ready to add or update Ticket Due Date Schedules into the Share a Point Calendar automatically. To demonstrate this feature, let me raise a new trouble ticket from this email. And I will assign it to Monica. And I want this ticket to be resolved by the 30th of January 6 p.m. Once this ticket is raised successfully, we should expect a due date entry made into the share a point calendar. So here it is. If you open this appointment, you will notice that the ticket details, due date etc. are available for quick reference to the ticket itself. One benefit of maintaining such a ticket due date calendar is to allow help desk managers or other technicians to look up for a suitable schedule such that the assignment of due date can take into consideration any other prior assignments which may have already existed. This will help prevent due date clashes, allocate resources more judiciously, and thereby increasing the efficiency of your help desk staffs. This concludes this video demonstration.